Okay, folks, everybody back from their break now? Everybody got that done? Got some coffee going into you? Got some energy because we're going to go through another hour here today. You ready for another hour? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. This morning, we really beat you up here this morning to show you some of this stuff. I want to talk about this keyword research we did here, okay? I wanted you to take a sneak peek into the back of how this is done the easy and free way, all right? And that's another thing. You cannot just go and copy anybody's article off anywhere on the internet. That'll get you in trouble fast. You have to make sure you go to article directory sites like this where they give permission for you to do that, right? You gotta make sure you got permission to do it. Follow the guidelines. They'll tell you what the rules are. It requires you to copy it in full, including the bio box at the bottom and have that on your website. That does not mean you cannot add your own thoughts and comments or have somebody else add their own thoughts and comments above and below the article on each page. In fact, it is highly encouraged. When you're getting the sites up, building the systems we're going to show you using the software I use, you're allowed to put the title of each page into the website. Do not use the same title as they give here at Easy and Articles. Come up with your own title and you base that title on the related keywords you uncovered that you know people are searching for. You will know that even though this is frugal travel tips for London, England, one of your top searched keywords in this market will be travel to London or something like that. You'll have uncovered that with your word tracker account. So in the title, you will put travel to London, travel tips. Make your title unique. Then you copy and paste your article that you copied, that you took from this person with their permission in its entirety into your page. Then their title shows up. Then their material shows up. That way you're making your site titles unique for the search engines. That helps reduce that duplicate penalty, uh, the duplicate content penalty in Google. At the end of the article, you've pasted the article in there with all this information on the topic. They have their two outgoing links. Then you make it even more unique by putting in a paragraph or two on each page with your own thoughts on the article. Better yet, make it controversial. Make your own thoughts controversial because not only will the spiders, the search engine spiders be coming through for the search engines, but humans will be coming through and reading it. And the article itself, like I said, these are written by people trying to get traffic to their sites. You're trying to use it as content, profitable content for your site. So you want to make sure they're not leaving through those links at the bottom. You've got to leave them there because that's the rules, but you don't want the people actually following through. You want them to stay on your site or click the links on your site. Not theirs, yours. That's where the money is. That's what you want to be doing with these networks. So then at the bottom of these articles, you want to put some comments about what you thought about it. Even if you didn't like it, make it controversial, relate it again, and again you use the keywords you've uncovered using your keyword software that are related to the topic that you already know because you did the research people are looking for. I get content, I do one of two things. I get content that's already been written in my market that I have full rights to. It's called PLR content, private label rights. Write that down just so you can look it up later. P L R content. You get P L R content, private label rights content. There are writers out there, all they do all day and all night is churn out content to sell without rights to it. No restrictions, you can use it however you want. These aren't those type. These you have to use just like they are and give credit to the author. PLR, you buy it, you can use it in any way you want. You can find PLR, private label rights content. You can purchase private label rights content on just about any topic imaginable. You go to Google, don't do this now, or listen to me. Go to Google, you type in the topic, broad topic related to your subject along with PLR, okay? You usually uncover a lot. If not, just type in PLR articles. You'll find all kinds of companies provide these services, okay? Here's the problem with that.